Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, good morning. <laughs> so it's next morning. Um, I actually set two of the parts of the tutorial. I set them to go live through the night because when I was packing up to go to bed I um, kind of wanted to see some feedback to see whether I should just keep going <laughs> basically so um, the reason I set them through the night is I thought um, it might tie in with uh, some people in the US being able to watch it and I might have some feedback um, to see whether to keep going to the end and yeah it seems like a few of you want me to keep going so um, I'm going to keep going <laughs> um, there was a one question uh, uh, who was it uh, let me see if I can see it <sighs> so this is part seven and if you're still with me oh my goodness <laughs> I'd be surprised. <laughs> I think somebody asked me about lace I used. Oh, Daisy. Daisy Grace. Sorry, let me have a slurp. Asked me about that spool of go to lace. This is actually a vintage spool that um, my husband bought me for Christmas about. Ooh, it's about four years ago. The lace, however, no, this is not from AliExpress. This lace came from a couple of years ago. Um, I met somebody who had done a clearance on an old wedding shop. And actually, I bought an awful lot of lace off them. Very, very cheap. Um, I got a fantastic deal. Um, so, I have... A number of laces that most of the lace cards I have like this one that also came from the wedding shop so um, no they those ones are not from Aliexpress sorry um, I well that's the best deal I've ever had in well probably my life <laughs> and I got a lot of um, staple laces off them and it, it was just a great deal and um, the sprays that I use these beaded spray and this little these little flower sprays that all came from that um, guy that had done a clearance on a wedding shop so no they're not from Aliexpress sorry is that the only one yeah, I think so. That was a specific question. Okay. So, part seven. <laughs> okay. Right. Where were we? <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I was going to do another mirror page, wasn't I? That's right. So, which way does this go? She goes that way, which is annoying because my crease is the opposite way. Oh, right. I just said to Monique's back because she she was at her um, boyfriend's house last night, and she she's just come back, and I was sat at my desk, and she said. Please tell me you haven't been there all night. I said, no, Monique. <laughs> I went to bed about half past nine. <laughs> she was like, oh, good. <laughs> I was exhausted. It's quite... I, I really feel like using this uh, small rectangle doily um, on this. So I'm going to lay this on. So I'm going to go ahead and get this glued down. So the sun is out this morning, but I believe the rain will be back this afternoon. So, 
um, looks like another day of um, house chores once I get these videos done. So if this is parts, do you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it might go to like part, 10 parts or something. But you know, don't think, I won't, please don't worry about watching them all. I, I won't be um, disappointed or anything. I, I, like I say, I know how long I take to um, do things and I really don't expect... Gosh, I'll be surprised if anybody's still watching now. But I am going to try and put a couple up each day to sort of spread it out. And I can preset them so when I'm at work they can, can go up. So I'm, I'm not worried about um, that. It's just somebody sitting watching them all. <laughs> I do actually um, watch them myself to uh, before I put them up um, because obviously I like to check if everything's in short and you know stuff like that. I like to make sure I'm explaining things and doing things. I just I think I might use this eyelet lace again. I think I might use this one again. So I'm going to edge. I think I'll do this side first because um, some of the uh, other lace books I've done, I actually sit and um, sew laces and gather them myself. But obviously, that would make this tutorial even longer than it already is. You know, I would just do a running stitch around lace and gather it. But I'm not, I'm not going to purposely make it longer than it needs to be. Because it's long enough for you all already. <laughs> Either way, though, uh, you know, I haven't sat at my desk for, for this length of time <laughs> for a very long time. So, in a way, it's been quite nice um, to, you know, craft um, start to finish. Because, like I say, normally I do a bit here, do a bit there. I do actually have a couple of projects on, on the go. But, you know, I pick them up when I can and do a little bit here, do a little bit there. So, in a way, this has been quite nice. It's puckering a bit there, but we will go with it. I'm not worried that that's there because um, I'm probably going to add some dangle lace and stuff and by the time I put the page on you won't see any of it. <laughs> I was going to sit and look for some different laces last night but I was so tired I just, I just went to bed. <laughs> Monique's going off to work. I said to Kane, you just go have to go watch TV in your room this morning. He was like, okay, Mum. <laughs> Normally we're all in here. 
here in the morning. I don't ask them for much, so they're quite good when I do. Because I don't do it a lot, so. <laughs> Here Graham getting Alfie ready for his walk. So they're off to the fields. For their walk. Before it rains. Chances are he'll come home muddy because of the amount of rain there was yesterday. But he loves the fields, so we're quite fortunate that we've got a lot of um, woodlands and uh, public field walks around here because he just loves to run. <laughs> For those that you don't know, Alfie is a border collie, so he's um, quite an energetic dog. Okay, so I've done that both sides. So I'm not gluing this down yet because I do want to put some dangles. Slappy time. Oh, I do love my cup of tea in the morning. Well, I love a cup of tea any time of day, but I do really enjoy the ones in one in the morning. I think I'm going to use this one. I haven't. As much as I love this one I've been using, I'm going to use this. Now I'm going to, so you see this has got quite a wide border so I'm actually going to just trim along here and I'll save this piece. And I'm not cutting around the shape because I want this one to be quite flexible. I will keep that bit set on there because there's quite a cute um, little border on there so that would make a nice little lace or I can gather it for a flower but either way it will stay <laughs> on there and won't get wasted I do think about the people that make these laces, they make these beautiful laces and here I am chopping them up into sections. <laughs> but it's so much cheaper than buying um, pre-cut appliques. So let me see, I'm going to do this along here. goes Alfie, getting all excited because he's off on his walk.
line up a little bit further on the side, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to go with it. with the glue there, but that's fine, it's off. Right. Yeah. And again, I, once, once I glue this down, if I want to um, make this a bit more, I can always add under here anyway. So, I'm just going to... Make sure that I've got oh, lovely. Right, so I've got this slight rectangle doily. Oh, somebody else asked me about the oval doilies where I got them. Those that most of my doilies are either from eBay or car boot sales. Um, and I tend to, on eBay, I tend to buy job lots, so I end up with a variety of all different shapes and sizes in job lots. Um, like I say, I don't just buy, like, um, I don't just get small size doilies, I get big, big ones and table runners and I just love vintage linens, so I'm, that's how I end up with such a variety of shapes it's you know this these were a table set this one I think I think it was 12 pieces but I think it was like six this size then six big ones as well you know like big dinner plates you, you could sit on them um, so I just I just look for um, job lots so I'm thinking with this, I'm going to have two pockets, but this is quite wide out. So what I want to do is I actually want to turn this over like this and make a little, um, if I move the book. So what I'm thinking is I want to turn this over like that and make a little um, Q edge. Well, you want to call it? <laughs> I'm just going to pop a few dabs there and just pin that down for now. Because it's not enough glue. Sometimes I'm so light with the glue, it's just not enough. Because <laughs> I literally just dab it. On. And then same on this one. And again, I'm doing the mirror page. I have, I've got, <laughs> I've got another album that I'm in the process of doing, which is a lot bigger that I've been working on for a while. I actually, it's. I um, sewed the base actually. Um, I done it one night at my mum's. My brother wasn't very well, and I sat and sewed a couple of lace book bases up. And I gave one for mum, one for me. Um, and it just has sat there for a lot. Just the base has sat there for a long time. So I've just been doing the odd page here and there. It is quite a big one, and um, I have done a mirror page in that, um, so that I could use bigger doilies. But once I finish it, <laughs> I'll let you see it. Okay, I'm not going to pop these down yet because I'm not quite sure what I'm what I do with them yet. So I'm gonna pop those 
on. So, I'll try and do this one first. I try to do it at an angle that you can kind of see what I'm doing, but it's a little bit um, awkward angle for me, but um, I want to try and make sure that, I know you're not seeing it in very, very close up, but I'm hoping you can get the overall just of it and I could have kept that together but I really want to um, define the edge here so that it, it folds over better And I do know that this is the back of the doily. The reason being, because I'm adding things onto it. Um, it's going to be covered. <laughs> okay, so now I've got these two and they're still loose. So... I'm just going to edge here, and I've actually got this lace out to do it, I think. No. <laughs> However, it might look cute. There. Maybe. So I just need a tiny trim for there. I'm going to go with that one. This is um, a little vintage trim. So I do use them <laughs> um, now and then. I like to put a little bit of vintage trim in if I can. I've had a few people ask me about the brand of glue gun I use. Actually, let me just show it while I'm here. It's a rapid, is it EG point? And it, it's just got quite a small nozzle. And I picked them up on eBay. When expensive these ones I think they're about 12 pound or something which I will always go and look if if this breaks or gets really really grubby and um, I will always just pick up the same brand I don't I don't really experiment with um, other brands I just it works for me, so 
the only thing I haven't done and I keep saying I've got to do is make a stand for it um, and I know oh, you can get them and just alter your own but I just you know it's just not something I've got around to doing yet I have to turn this around to an awkward angle just to do, you might not be able to see me do it so well. It's just this is getting quite full now so I kind of need to lift it up and do it. Can still see me. I just looked at the camera. I thought, oh, you know what? Did I hit the cord? <laughs> Panicked. <laughs> As it gets um, fuller, it's just a little bit more awkward angle. if you're trying to show someone yep, that folds nicely okay See if this still would look good. Hmm. Maybe just there to there. I'm not sure. Small flower there. Not sure about that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue these down and the pockets down whilst I think about that. <laughs> think whilst. Right, so let's get this one. And again, I've still got room to add anything in if I, if I want to, um, you know, add a bit more to it. small along there. I need another glue stick.
one first. You can see why they get so full so quickly, can't you? Um, somebody did say to me, I don't understand how those little doilies go to such a full book, but once you start layering it up and adding um, embellishments, um, it does quickly bulk up. I'm going to do this pocket first, and I'm just going to do there and there now. So I can get right down in here. Both sides. And what you'll see is I'm working a lot with the natural um, lines of the doilies, you know, the natural stitching. rained off this morning. Right. Am I gonna yes I am I'm gonna follow that through. I don't think many people will have taken a chance that it's been that bad. I don't want to put that down yet until I decide if I want to add something else under there. I might. <laughs> Crease on that door a little bit, it doesn't matter. I can do the same on this side. So we've got our oh, oh nice. we've got our two pockets either side, which is really cute. Okay, so do I need no. a little bit? I feel like I need something I'm conscious not to. Do you know, I could put a flower here because down the bottom gets very bulky if you put a lot of flowers down the bottom, but I might use my lace that I love. Just do that bit of it. Yes, 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 yes. Go for it. Uh, let's see how this. 
this is going to <clears throat> excuse me I keep that a little bit for another I'm thinking that I want to do that. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see if I can mirror it on the other side. So I've still got this piece as well. Right. I can, I can see then I'm I'm building up a bit of <coughs> um bulk at the top rather than always at the bottom. Okay, I know I know I've been long when my tea's gone cold, but I just want to look at flowers for there. I am still in my dressing gown as well, but it is quite early, so I think that's okay. And seeing the weather's bad, these looked... I only bought a yard of this lace, but I think I might see if I can find where I got it and get some more, because the flowers on it are really cute. I'm going to go for those. It's probably easiest because I really like them. Really cute. Um, they've got layers on already, so easier. I would say quicker but we've talked about how not quick I am. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go for that, because then I can add a few smaller ones, um, just don't glue these bits down so that they stay hanging. And I'm still, hang on, stop talking Trisha, glue it down first. Bit 
there, there and there, so just to tack it in place. And yes, this one is upside down because obviously I want to mirror on the other side, so one of them's got to be upside down. But you know, some of these laces you you really can't tell. <laughs> really can't. So, I we'll need to pop that down and then add a bit more. Right, what I was going to say, I still haven't sort of tacked this all the way around and I'm not going to, because just in case when we do the embellishments I want to add a bit more. So, um, let's see how that goes. Right, let's do this side and then I'll have a break, get a fresh cup of tea and come back. And hopefully I'll have some idea what to do on the next page. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it yet. <laughs> okay. Signing with it to okay. I'm going to put a little bit trim there, but I'll think about that. Tiny trim across there. Mm. Okay, so let me just show you that. So that's another mirror page, but you know, two cute pockets. Um, probably add a few little flowers to this when we do the embellishment. I'm going to look for, I want to put another bit of lace under here. Let me just see if I can see one before I. Turn off the camera. Um, hmm. That's not wide enough. Have a look, see. Sorry, I know I said I was gonna take a break, but I just want to see if this will work and how much to trim off. I've cut off there is basically like two leaves, so keep those. So that's cute, I think. And then those just popping out. Okay, 
you see that? So you just get the circle, circles popping out. That's quite cute. So I am going to do that. Put the centre bit down first. That holds it in place. Just pop these down at the bottom. My cat scratched at the door to get in. <laughs> probably thinking, why is this door shut? that side down, I'll quickly do the other side and then I will <clears throat> oh, it's really dull now. <laughs> Lots of clouds coming over. Okay, do the same this side. this one because it might be in that mirrors it might actually be a smaller space underneath you know which it looks like it is so trying to uh, show you the bits I keep because um, I know on <laughs> sorry the cat's desperately trying to open the door <laughs> she's not used to it um, being closed <laughs> um, because I know on a lot of my wall hangings and other doily books. I just use lots of bits and tuck it in and use up all these. Um, I'll just show you what I've got like this. I use up all these scraps and bits and pieces and you know. I know which one it is, it's Tala. Simba wouldn't bother, she'd just go upstairs. Oh, she's meowing now. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute, Tala. She probably, you haven't given me my breakfast yet, mummy. <laughs> she's, she's, well, I don't know if you can hear it, she's... See, if Alfie was here, he would go and open the door for her because if he was out in the hall, he'd just push the door open for her. He's quite quite good with her. Well, he's good with both of them. The other week, I was 
not very well and um, I woke up and Alfie and both the cats were on the bed so I took a little video and sent it to the kids and <laughs> it was so funny three of them were curled up next to me like please get up mummy <laughs> show you that and then we will definitely take a break. There we go. So we've got the little loops just popping out on both sides here. Okay. Right, now we're going to take a break. So um, we'll be back as soon as I have had a cup of tea and refreshed. See you in a bit. <laughs> 